Hey you, are you trying to learn about Microsoft 365? You're in the right place. Welcome back to the Ultra Tech channel everyone, Jesse here. On today's video, I wanna give you the basics on Office 365, which is now called Microsoft 365. I'll tell you what applications are included, which plan is right for you, and how to access these services. You may also already have access to these apps for free from your job or maybe from school. When I was attending college, I qualified for all of these apps for free. So make sure to check if your school gives you this benefit. By the time you're done with this video, you'll be ready to choose the right Microsoft package with confidence. You'll know how to access these services and you'll have a basic understanding of what's included with each of these packages. Let's get started. First of all, don't get confused with the names of Office 365 and Microsoft 365 as they are the exact same thing. As of April 21st, 2020, Office 365 changed its name to Microsoft 365. While there are additional plans for enterprise, today I'll be focusing on the licensing for personal, family use, or for a small business. Basically, there's two types of packages that you need to purchase. You will either need to purchase a standalone, which is a one-time purchase, or the Microsoft 365 subscription, which is either charged monthly or per year. With home and business, it's a one-time purchase. You get Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and Outlook. For home and student, it's also a one-time purchase and you only get Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. With the Microsoft 365 subscription for personal or family, you will get access to Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, Microsoft Teams, OneDrive, and Editor. This editor will let you check on spelling and grammar, similar to Grammarly. You also get one terabyte of cloud storage if you choose the one user, or six terabytes if you choose the family plan. There's different tiers and plans for Microsoft 365 Business, but the one that I recommend is Business Standard, as this will give you Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, OneDrive, SharePoint, Exchange Online, Microsoft Access, and Microsoft Publisher. The other two cheaper plans, Basic and App plans, are missing either Exchange Online and SharePoint, or they're missing Microsoft Access and Microsoft Publisher. When signing up under business, you should also think ahead if you're gonna be signing up with your custom domain, which will usually be the domain used on your business's website such as at ultratechnetworks.com if it was for me. You can also sign up without using this feature, but if you plan on using their exchange online email service, I would choose domain account signup. It's very easy and all you have to do is add a few text records on your website's DNS to prove you are the owner. Now let's talk about licensing cost. There's probably three situations that you might be in. You already have a license from your job, school, or you need to purchase a plan. With a subscription plan, you get the latest features, which can come out every month, and you can install in up to five devices. You also get cloud storage, which helps you keep your documents secure if you ever lose your computer or if you lose any of your external drives. For the personal subscription plan, you will have to pay a yearly price of $69.99 if you prepay for the full year or you can pay $6.99 per month. For the family option, you can purchase for $99 a year or $9.99 a month. For the family option, you can add up to six total family members and each one of those members can install in up to five computers or devices. So that's a potential of 30 installations of Office software. 
if you are choosing the Microsoft 365 business plan, I will recommend you choose the option for business standard as it will give you the most services and gives you room to grow. This option will cost you $12.50 a month per user. Starting with this option will give you access to Exchange Online, SharePoint sites, and being able to have your custom domain set up with Exchange. You can also always add more users as your company grows. The limit of users you can have with this service is 300 users. When you pass that number, you're forced to switch to the enterprise pricing plans. If you're interested in only getting Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and Outlook without any cloud services or big feature updates, you can purchase the software as a one-time purchase and own it for life. The only negative is you can only install on one computer. With Office, Home, and Student, you only get the Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, and it's a price of $149 and 99 cents, but it is a one-time fee and you own it for life. The other option is Office, Home and Business. With this option, you get Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and Outlook. With this option, it will cost you a one-time fee of $249 and 99 cents. Now that you know about the different packages, Let's talk about how to access your software. If you purchase a Microsoft 365 subscription, usually the access is given to your personal Microsoft account and you simply have to log into office.com using the email address you signed up with. From there, you can get access to download your software, use the web version of each software, provide access to family members so they can access the software and manage your subscription like billing. If you purchase any of the standalone packages, you'll get a key sent to your email address and you can also register this key to your personal email for future access. If you want to register it, you go to office.com setup. If you ever need to reinstall your software, you can go there and once in a while, it'll allow you to install on two devices, but you may need to call Microsoft tech support so they can unregister your old devices if you reach that limit. Check with your school as they may be participating with a program from Microsoft called Microsoft Spark. This gives you access to Office applications and even free access to Windows 10 and 11 education and other Microsoft programs that you can take advantage of. Once you have access, you may need to log into office.com with your school email, or you may need to register with Microsoft Spark with a link that's given by your school. Here you will register your software with keys that you will get access to from this Microsoft Spark portal. Your job may also give you a free license to use, but first check with your IT folks if you're allowed to install an additional devices, but generally each license can be installed on up to five devices. To get access to the software and cloud services, you'll just need to log into office.com with your work email address. And here you can install applications as well as access cloud services, which can include Exchange Online, SharePoint, OneDrive, and other cloud services. I hope this video has helped you get going with Microsoft 365 and being able to decide which version works best for you. In the long run, subscription pricing can add up more, but gives you a ton of benefits such as giving you new features, cloud backups, and access to more cloud services to help your business grow. Stay tuned and I'll be doing more videos on Microsoft 365 to give you a better understanding of what each software does. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like this video so it can spread to other people. Until next time, Ultratech out.